Oracle has two drinks. She's planning to get proper smashed tonight. Jeez. <laughs> Hey YouTube, how's it going? My name is Lucas and welcome back to the Time Lord Challenge. Now, as you can see, we are in a bit of a new room because I have done um, a little bit of building and added some lovely additions to our TARDIS. So um, this, as you can see, is the Oracle's sort of makeshift lab because she needs, she needs some, like, uh, some logic building uh, items. Sorry, took a while to say. Uh, yeah, so I got her like this rocket building thing. I don't know how it's gonna work seeing as she's like underground. Like, will it clip through to the dining room? I don't know. Um, we'll handle that uh, when, when it happens. Uh, she's got herself a microscope. I'm gonna fill it with get to work stuff as well once I get get to work, which is on the agenda because I'm doing the not so berry challenge now and I need get to work. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna add some of that scientist. Uh, uh, oh my god, me words, some some sciencey things, some sciencey things. There we go. Could you believe I got an A star in English lit, and here I am, unable to speak, saying sciencey things, and ironically, um, yeah. So she's gonna get lots of some of nice new sciencey things to put in her lab. Here we have an empty room, um, which is gonna be the photography room. Once again, I get get to work and can pop in a little photography station, and then if you come over here, we have the music. Uh, wing, which I did talk about. Oh, Maureen's brushing little nebula. Um, let's give you a tour of the music wing, why don't you? Why don't I? Why don't we? Um, again, words. So you come in, uh, let me just stand by the door. So you obviously you come in, you've got this little, like, first area. You've got a karaoke machine with a big TV. Um, God knows what Maureen is watching. Looks like a weird Sims 3 clockwork orange. Got a plant, because why not? Um, you got, you know, your violin and your guitar, some lovely paintings, and then you have, like, the piano room with all these mirrors surrounding you. Um, the pipe organ is still out in the engine room because, um, reasons. I don't know, I like it there. And it didn't really fit in here. Hold on, my voice is a bit raspy. Let me, let me have a little cough break. There we go. I'm feeling better. I don't know if I sound better, but I feel a little bit less raspy now. So, yeah, we have these new rooms here. And then you probably noticed, bam, a bowling area. Because I was like, you know what? We have enough space to put in these bowling machines. So why not have a bowling room? Um, it's a, it's a, a little... It's a bit weird looking, I'll just say, because I'm I'm not a good builder. Like, I can't build houses, let alone a bowling alley. And also, like, a lot of the swatches are a bit much. So, I mean, I tried my best. It's a bit dark, but then again, so are bowling alleys, I guess. I might pop some mirrors here later and just try and jazz it up a bit. But for now, it's a bit basic. I've got this corner couch here. It was actually just two standard couches stuck together, as you can see from, like, this sort of weird glitch. It was supposed to be, like, an L-shaped sofa. Um... And so, yeah, let's just jump into the episode. Oh, I also gave Maureen this cute little ship that I found in the build and buy mode. So, that's about it. Really, nothing else to say. Oh, I fixed the library as well. Um, I had to put this big painting here, so it's now like sort of a feature wall, I guess. Um, it, it doesn't look amazing, but it's better than the alternative, which is a, you know, an unwallpapered, unplastered wall that I can't fix. Um, so, it'll do for now. That is all, I believe. Ooh, why is Maureen feeling flirty? Oh, is that romance? A romantic comedy? It looked like she was watching Clockwork Orange. Um, yeah, so that's all so far. Where is Atav? Here he is, um, standing. So my lovely commenter and fan, Mona, pointed out that Atav doesn't do... He might be glitched, is what she said, because he, he just stands in the same spot over and over again. But, like, he does do things... Like if I tell him, um, butler command, assign task, cook family meal, he will go and do it, but he just, then he'll just stand in the same spot for ages, basically. Which, you know what, I'm not judging him. If he wants to do that, he can. I sit in the same spot and play Sims for hours, and I don't do anything. So if he wants to stand in the same spot for hours, he can. 
But I also have seen him venture on his own as well, but it's just very rare. But occasionally you'll see him walk to a new spot and just stand for ages. I think it's because the TARDIS is just very clean right now, so he doesn't have, like, a motivation to go and sort of clean stuff, if you will. Like, obviously, if it was a mess, he'd be walking around doing duties, but because it's really clean, he he doesn't, if that makes sense. But um, I have a plan for today. Enough talking. Uh, is she still doing her... No, she's playing video games. I tell her to go do some work in her lab, and the next thing I know, she's playing video games. Um, so I completed this little aspiration thing. We're on to the next level now. But, as I said, I have plans for today. I was thinking they should go to, like, a lounge, if you will, a very classy lounge, and just mingle with the swells. Because, as you can see, they are... Well, they were rich before I added the bowling alley. Alley? Oh, my... The bowling alley. Sorry. Um, words, my biggest weakness. Um, yeah, they, they are rich. So I was like, you know, why not take them to like a fancy lounge or a fancy club to just sort of mingle with the swells and the socialites and they, and try and blend in as, you know, normal 21st century humans and see how it goes. So we're going to do that now. We're going to have another outing, basically. We went to the park last time. It was so good. We met a robot dog. But now we're just going to go to see like a classy place. Um... Hopefully, you know, no peasants show up. We just want, you know, nice rich people to make friends as well. Because they're lonely. And I just gave them a new bowling alley and they need friends to, you know, play with. Those we can trust not to tell everyone that we're secretly time travellers. So I was thinking, is this the lounge? The solar flare. Yeah, let's go to the solar flare. With the oracle. We're going to put them in fancy clothes as well. Oh, yes gonna have them in their party wear although i'm pretty sure um the oracle's party wear is the same as her daytime wear but that's fine we she just looks so good in that suit i i can't not put her in that suit um so yeah i will see you guys once we arrive at the club all right so we're here at the solar flare but these gals i should have done this before we left um need to put on their party clothes even though the oracle's party clothes is the exact same as her everyday clothes um i'm gonna do it anyway uh also, I suddenly remembered where this hat came from. I do remember I did give her a little outfit with a little bowler hat, which I thought was kind of cute. Um, yeah, so I think this is a party wear. Literally exactly the same, but, you know, in my mind, she's in her party wear. And Maureen, she has this lovely dress, actually, that she does rock. Oh, her formal dress, I think, is what I was thinking about. And she has these... Oh, you've got to put her in a suit as well. Yes, queens. Oh my god, now we're gonna go hit the town. Who is before? Is that Tav? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh my god. First of all, that's ours, I'm pretty sure. Isn't that our violin, the red one? Because that looks really out of place here. Did he steal our violin? Secondly, oh my god, didn't know. Atav was also, uh, oh my god, what is he wearing? Dennis Kim. No. Why? It's because there's a, a, a festival in town, I'm pretty sure. But, oh my god. Oh my god. I just didn't know Atav worked. He, he also had a job as a entertainer. We should have him perform stuff for us. Um, so yeah, you gals, why don't you sit together and have some drinks? Oh my, I'm not over this. Does Atav know we're here? Do they know Atav is here? So it seems he doesn't just stand in you know the same spot for ages, but he also has a job as an entertainer. Go on, Atav. So are these are all the rich people. Oh no, I'm being in. Oh dear. Right. So this CC hair, I got because you know it's cute. It's, it's a cute hairstyle. But like, fifty percent of the randomly generated townies wear it, which um. Just bother, I don't want everybody rocking the same hairstyle, basically. Can we, like, see if she has any alternatives in her, in her, um, outfits? Yeah, every, like, randomly generated townie now has that hair. Like, Michaela, for example, in my Double Life, uh, challenge, she had that hair. Like, everyone's got this hair, and it just, it drives me insane that, you know, there's so many townies with the same hair. Oh, is that, um, what's her face? Uh, Fang. Uh, where is she? There she is. Lily Fang, it is. Here come the Richies. We're going to be mingling with the swells. Should we... Oh, no. Sit down, Maureen. We're getting drinks. We're getting drinks. Super. 
Wowza. What drinks we have? Boy, Order I... drink. Order drinks for group. What would be cool to have? The most expensive thing to show off that we are drunk. Not drunk, sorry. Um, to show off that we are rich. Love potion number four. Mm, I don't know about that. Let's have a silent film. Bartem? Bluff -a yeah, you tell him, Maureen. So here comes all the rich people. Who are you? Mortimer Goth. Oh, of course. I should have recognised him. Is that his party wear? You say hi. Okay, you can be more polite, Maureen. You have to wave your finger in the air. So let's have a friendly introduction to Mortimer Goth. Look, we're blending in with all the rich people. Oh, this is cute. Oh my god. Is this the Sims 2 soundtrack? Is that not the Sims 2? Oh my god, it is because it's retro music. Oh my god, we stan. Um, first of all, she just steal the Oracle's chair? I'm pretty sure the Oracle was sitting there, or am I, am I wrong? But yeah, let's introduce ourselves to Mortimer, shall we? Oh Jesus, I thought we had a professional here, he just spilled our drinks. So is this everyone so far? I think it is, but we can always use some old cheats to spawn people. Who is that? Victor Feng, oh my god. Um, yeah, maybe we should spawn some cheats. Um, no, use some cheats, sorry, to spawn people in. Because we need some rich people here. Alright, so we're back. <laughs> Oracle has two drinks. She's planning to get proper smashed tonight. Jeez. Um, and yeah, I've teleported in through the power of the Sim Teleporter mod. Some um, rich people, basically, for us to chill with. We've got the Fangs. They're all just stood right now, um, doing nothing. Uh, figures. You know, they've got the Goths, the Land Grabs, for some reason. I couldn't teleport them in, so I can only assume the land grabs out on their way, I guess. And yeah, let's just start introducing ourselves to some of the rich people of the Sim world. Oh my god, she's proper going at it with the two drinks. Um, say hi to Victor Feng, uh, Jay Huntington we got here, Bella Goth, great connection. We've got to make some connections, basically. You know, stop being so reclusive and showing the world, you know, that, hey, we're rich too. They all just stood, so maybe I should, you know, um, reset them, see if that'll make some of them start walking. Oh, there we go. They're beginning to move now. Yeah, we got them all. I can't believe we've got the Sims 2 soundtrack going. Oh, we even got um, the Caliente sisters showing up as well. I guess it's the poor people corner. We're not even going to go there. Um... Malcolm Landgrab, just walking out, being snooty. Oh, look, Maureen's gone over to Oracle, because they're best friends, and she feels better around her friends. They say hi to Jay Huntington, why don't we? Lily Feng, so many people we've got to meet, you know. We've got to get in with, with all the rich people, basically. Someone's drink is over there. Are you guys going to start moving any moment now? You know, feel free. You don't have to just stand there. Also, I'm pretty sure that's a violin that Atav was just jacked for his second job. Um, no, don't put your two drinks down. You're enjoying those drinks. Right now, it's a bit of a mess. Oh, there we go, they're moving. Come on, we can't have a proper party if you guys aren't moving. <gasps> what if we all start dancing? Then people join in, won't they? I don't know. Is that is that a bit too a bit too much for like all the rich people? Yeah, maybe we shouldn't. Let's just keep drinking. Introduce ourselves to the Bjergsen woman who's drinking our drink. I'm pretty sure. Hey. Oh, she just immediately left once we sat down to her. Rude. This is good. See, and higher tall. Should we acknowledge that our butler is here? Um. Hi! Yeah. Discuss logic puzzles, why don't we? <gasps> who is this guy? Artie Fisham. Don't know who that is. Let's say hi to Artie. He's in a blue suit as well. <gasps> oh my god, this was like meant to be. He also has a good appreciation for blue suits. I mean, that's perfect. Oracle's like, I see you. I love me a blue suit as well. What is Maureen doing? Maureen is still getting some drinks. Nope. Oh, Jeffrey Langrab is here. Bit late to the party. She's got herself a bowl of crisps, sure. Um, yeah, how are things going with Artie over here? Hello, Artie. 
I want to get to know Artie. Um, get to know. He does look actually. He does look quite good. You know, maybe um, maybe uh, Oracle can do a, a tenth Doctor and fall in love with a human. Wouldn't that be cute? I mean, no, it would be a little bit grim actually if she outlives him and he he dies of old age. We can still get to know him as friends. Um, reveal a brilliant invention. Go on. And back to Maureen, who is just eating, chatting to Mila Munch. I swear we could have swiped. Oh, he's a genius as well. <gasps> oh my god. They can both enthuse about like nerdy things together. Oh, I'm loving this. He's perfectionist. And what else are you, Mr. Artie? Hello. Enthused by interest, because you you both are geniuses, and you're both perfectionists. Oh, oh, no, we didn't like that. You know, they say opposites attract. I guess they are very similar. What does she give him? Oh, was it her new invention? Um, what was the third thing about him? Oh, they're both being excited. Um, I guess she's just happy to find a genius like her. Unknown trait. What's his third trait? Please don't be evil. We don't want to meet someone who's a genius, but also evil. That would not be good. Um, so the other gets to know is gone. Don't know why. Maybe she's getting to know him now? I don't know what his third trait is. Go on, be a genius together. Share brilliant ideas. What is he? I want to know. Tell me, game. Tell me. Have a hip bump. And then, ooh, why don't we, um... Ooh, he's a little bit bored, isn't he? Oh, that was nice. But we still don't know his third trait. Come on, game. You've got to tell me. You can't just present me a sim in a blue suit, you know, and not tell me it's, it's the trait when he's clearly, you know, got the same interests as as what's her face, as the Oracle. They're like meant to be. Tell a dramatic story. And now Lily Feng's picked up the violin. Maureen is doing God knows what in the corner. Can we swipe something? If we if we swipe something and fail, we get kicked out. Ooh, it's a risk. Can we swipe the lamp? We can swipe the lamp. Right, please don't get us kicked out, Maureen. And we've just met this this new interesting guy. Um, ask to stargaze. That'll be cute. Come on, Maureen, you got this. Let's get a close up on the action. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on, Maureen. You you got that pirate blood in you. Come on. You're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. She's looking around. Come on, Maureen. It's time frozen. Sometimes it does that. Just swipe it. Swipe it, Maureen. ASMR for you. She's embarrassed. Oh, did she get caught? Oh, Maureen. You know, she's going to the toilet. Why don't you go to the toilet then? Um, take a little time out for yourself. And then. Give yourself a pep talk. Maybe it wasn't the best idea to steal something from a very crowded place. Oh, everyone is tired and leaving, I guess. Oh, do we not get to know what Artie's third trait is? That upsets me. We didn't kick it off very well with Vlad either. Um, why don't we invite him to the TARDIS? I don't know, is it too soon? I mean, you know, it's, it's a big thing to take in. Basically, you know, hey, we're time traveling, aliens and a pirate from the past. Welcome to our big on the inside spaceship, you know? It is it is a lot to take him. And again, if he is a genius and he is really he is really smart, then maybe um, he won't mind it. He'll be impressed by it. I don't know. I think the Oracle likes him, basically. Like, look at her now, walking off all proud of herself because she met a guy with a good taste in suits. Who is so similar to her, I think. I think she likes him. Come on, Maureen, it's time to go home, you two. Oh my god, is that Tav? Back for more. Oh my god, I can't believe it. 
He's job cheating on us. Oh, I think Oracle is all smitten now that she's met someone. Oh, deep conversation. This is cute. Um, how are we looking for time? Oh, let me check my timer. It's not very accurate because I started it a little bit late. And oh my god, see what I'm saying about the people with the, the crazy hair? Is that the same girl? No, it's a different one. But see, they all have that same hairstyle. It's driving me insane. So I might have to uninstall that CC, unfortunately. Because I can't have loads of townies with the same hairstyle. How is she gone home yet? No, she's on her way. Right, I'll cut you guys once we return to the TARDIS to finish off tonight's episode. Boy, are they tired. They just had a night out. Okay, so we're back at the TARDIS after an interesting night out, let's just say. Um, where is the Oracle? She is using the toilet. The butler's toilet. Interesting choice. Um, then we'll have her go to bed, I guess. It's been, yeah, as I said, it's been a, uh, an interesting night out to say the least we tried to introduce herself to some rich people make connections that was the whole point really just you know to make some connections she's also going to bed she's proper tired where is my little baby nebula doing his business and is a tarv here as well honestly i swear to god if he is it's like he has a clone or something it's so hard to find people in the tardis a tarv a tarv where are you yeah, it's so hard to find people in here. Um, I don't see him, but there have been times where I can't see him, but he's actually been here. I can't believe he was job cheating on us, you know. He had a second job this whole time. Um, that's fine. Oh, there he is. This is another spot he likes to stand in. Um, on, does he have a twin or a clone or something? Because, like... I swear, when we left, he was at the TARDIS, and next thing I know, he's, you know, doing this other job. Right, where are you going? Where are you... No! No, now is not the time to serve up some mac and cheese. Now is the time to go to bed, Oracle. Um, oh, Nebula is being cute with Maureen here. He is precious. He is too precious. Um, oh! And thanks as well to Mona for telling me about how to mount fish. I mean, now she's got that above her door. I was originally going to put it above the fish tank before I realised how quite macabre and how dark that is. Um, oh, I didn't know we could do this. Purchase. Oh, is it empty? I don't even know that. Yeah, let's fully stock with fish. I thought it would be a bit dark to hang a dead fish above here. Um, ooh, what colours can we have? Um, they're all sort of the same, really. I'm just thinking a, a blue would be fine. Um, right, has she actually gone and, and served herself some mac and cheese? Don't do that. Go to bed. Sleep. Come on, Oracle. It's been a long... It's literally 4am. You've been, you've been out drinking with rich people. And it's 4am and you're still awake. But yeah, let's see who we introduce. Oh, my God. She's... Oh, D... Oh, my... Are you kidding me? Are you really that hungry? Okay, let's see if Atav has whipped something up for us. He should have done, because I did tell him to. Um, unless that was what he started. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Right, have yourself a glass of water, and then just go to bed. This is so late. Ooh, have we got ourselves a new um, thing from, from the microscope? We have. We can pop that on our wall. Uh... Let's see if we can have him, like, wrapping around this wall. Uh, there we go. Hopefully we have, like, you know, like, a bunch there and a bunch there. It'll look nice. Um, oh, speaking of photos, I did get a lovely picture of us with the Tarv as well. Oh, I meant to lower that down a little bit. Um, another one of Nebula. But, yeah, that meant that's meant to go down a bit. Um, I'll do that in building by mode, off camera. But, look, she has one of the Tarv. What I'm saying is we've got a nice little family here, basically. Oh, my God. What are you doing, Oracle? Go to bed. But yeah, who have we introduced ourselves to? We've met Clara, Vlad, Artie, who, like, love interest. I'm just saying. It could happen. Uh, Jay, Mortimer. Not a huge amount of people. Mila and just Mortimer. Okay, so not that much, but at least they're, you know, they're out there in the world. Right, what are you doing? No, you are not microscoping at 5am. You should be asleep. Oh, my God. She's going to be so hungover. Right, get to bed. Look, Maureen is sleeping. Maureen is being good. Um, after trying to steal something and failing. 
See, she's getting a you know a good night's sleep. Oh my god, you are actually a mess. You're actually a mess. Right. Yep. Go to bed. Where's Neb? Oh, he's. <gasps> oh my god, what a cutie! What a cutie! Aside from the sort of glitchiness of our corner couch, look how cute he is in our bowling alley. <gasps> We end the episode by bowling. I think we should. Right, if we fast forward through the night, which we can't really do effectively. Because, oh my god, she up again. Right. Okay, if you're that determined not to sleep and not eat. Oh, Jesus, this is a mess. Right. She really wants... You know what? Fine, microscope then. Use the microscope. We'll just bowl with a tarp in the morning. You know, should we do that now? I don't see why not. It's a good way to end the episode. I don't know how long we've been going on for because... um. I've been going for a little bit longer, actually. Right, yeah, you go back to bed, Maureen. You sleep. Um, God knows what the Oracle is doing. I guess she's that addicted to her work that she is literally not eating, not sleeping. She wants to microscope. Sure, go ahead. In her in her nightie. Jeez. Is that a Petri dish? Oh, my God. What are you, what are you doing? Oh, and now, now Nebula's upset. What's wrong, Nebula? Is he going to bowl for us? Is he going to bowl? Nebula, what are you doing? Nebula. Oh, he's just giving it a good old sniff. Um, come to Oracle, Nebula. We can help you. Come on, Maureen. It's breakfast time. Grab yourself a serving. And then we'll do some bowling. Oh, yeah. All is well and good. Also, that needs to be cleaned up as well. Come on, Atav. Chop, chop. He's just going to stand there for ages now. He's got his new spot. He's not moving for another eight hours. Oh, Atav. I think he's a robot, to be honest. Like, he doesn't do anything unless he has, like, a duty to, to act on. That's pretty robotic, if you ask me. Honestly. He's a cyborg. I'm telling you, he's a cyborg. Or an android. What's the... No, it's an android is what I'm thinking of, right? An android is like a robot that looks like a person, and a cyborg is, I think, a person with like augmented robot parts. I don't know. I don't know the ins and outs, but he's he's definitely more machine than he is man. I'm telling you. Oh, is Nebula still upset? Nebula, what's wrong? What is wrong, my precious baby? I hope he's he's not sick. How how do we tell? Is he is he dirty? Because he's looking a little bit more, like, weirdly coloured at the back. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Maybe maybe a Tarv can help. Maybe he does have an illness. Well, maybe... Can we take him to the vet just in case? I don't know. I haven't played with pets enough to know if he's sick or not. He looks like... Right, is it just me? It looks like he's sort of got, like, a rash... Like, he's sort of gone very pink at the back, which is not his actual colour. Is it because he's dirty? <laughs> Nebula, are you alright? You alright, my baby boy? Um, I'll, maybe you'll pop him to the vet to see if all is good. What's wrong, Nebula? Don't clean up. That's a Tav's job. Nebula, are you alright? Please be alright. Is it because he's dirty? Is that what the um the weird colour is? <gasps> he's sick! Oh my god. Okay, next episode we're taking him to the vet. For now, we're just going to be doing some bowling. Like, I mean, got to end the episode. Come on, let's bowl. Who needs breakfast, Maureen, when you have bowling? Oh, can we play everyone? Um, A three frame. I mean, let's not take, you know, forever. Come on. TARDIS family bowling night. I mean, bowling morning. Um... Yeah, we'll sort out Nebula in the next episode. Come on, guys. Bowl time. Look, the tiles on the move. Doesn't happen often. Take it in, folks. Take it in. Come on, bowling time. Right, I'm going to end the episode here. Um, well, I'll wait for them to get to the bowling alley, then I'll say my outro. Hurry up, TikTok. Also, can we get um, the Oracle to change? She is not bowling, and um, Maureen as well. They're not bowling in their nightwear. Oh, she's really tired. Well, that's what happens when you don't go to bed when I tell you. Um, now you're bowling. You're stuck in it now. So right, I'll, 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 I'll help her off camera. But um, come on. Change outfits. 
Where's MC Command Center when you need it? Right, this has been an interesting episode, definitely. Um, we've taken them on a night out to meet people. Uh, the Oracle met um, a possible love interest. Oh my god, she's got the little bowling shoes on. Um, yeah, she's met a guy with a blue suit, which, you know, Andy's a genius and a perfectionist, which she is also. So it's like match made in heaven. Um, we we met some other rich people, and now we're bowling. I guess it's been a, it's been a weird one, but um, actually, why don't we change Maureen? I'll take her. I'll put her in like a, her active wear. That's all better. <laughs> and now a Tars bowling suit. Yeah, it's been a weird one, but um, thank you guys for watching so much. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. Well, let me get a better angle on this action, actually. Let's get like a front view. Actually, no, we'll have a back view so we can see their scores. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching so much. I've got a Twitter link down below. Uh, please follow me if you like. I don't really post much, but it's just if you want any updates, just oh my god, where did the ball go, Maureen? She just phased it into another reality. I guess that's what happens when you like play in the TARDIS. Maybe that bowling ball is going to end up like somewhere in time and space. But um, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.